Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. First of all, now there are many channels on YouTube, who are using the same tutorial style as me. Even the same voice which I am using for my tutorials, so don't get confused. I don't have any other YouTube channel, related to tutorials. I have one channel, and always will be. Anyway, today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Christmas Tree. I am using the same 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second. And a duration of 10 seconds. Now, create a new solid, and we will call it the background. You are free to add your own image or video you want. Now go to the effects and the presets and search for the ramp. Apply it onto the layer. And here change the start color to some bright orange color. And then change the end color to dark red color. Also, change the ramp shape to the radial ramp. Now place the top anchor point in the center, so that your background should look like this. You are free to choose any color you want. You don't have to follow my steps every time. I am just showing you the way, the destiny is yours. Perfect. Now create another solid. And this time we will call it, Christmas tree layer. And then hit OK. Now again go to the effects and the presets. And this time search for the CC particle systems too. This is an inbuilt plugin of After Effects, you don't have to download it from anywhere. Apply it onto the solid, and it will create some particles on this solid. Let's hide this background, so that we can focus on the particles only. Cool. Let's convert these particles to a Christmas tree. Select this layer, and let's adjust a few settings, first. Change the birth rate to 2 and change the longevity to 10. Open this physics tab, and change the animation to twirl. Also, I am turning down the velocity to zero, as well as, changing the gravity to 0.01. Here you can see we have this boring animation. Let's animate the position of it. Create a new null, and we will call it Particle Controller. Now press P, to open position. And then select the bottom layer. If you open this producer option, you will find this position tab here. Press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard. And then click on this stopwatch icon. Here you will see these four icons. Select this Pickwick icon. Click and hold on it, and then drag it onto the particle controller layer position. Now this particle center is connected to this null object. Change anything in the position of this null object, and the particles will follow the same. So let's do this. Go to the first frame, and then choose the position where you want your tree to start animating. Now add a keyframe onto the position, then go to around 7 frames forward and change the position of this null to something like here. Again go to the 7 frames forward, and then change the position to something like this. If you see closely, I am creating a zigzag path, with the 7 frames gap between them. Each line is smaller than the bottom line.
After finishing up the position animation, you will have this same kind of tree. But it is not perfect yet. As you can see particles are still appearing while the animation is complete. So go to the end keyframe, and then select the tree layer. Here add a keyframe onto the birth rate, go to around 1 second forward, and then change the birth rate to 0. Now particles will end up here. Now select all the keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Perfect. Again select the Christmas tree layer. And change the resistance value to 100. Also, change the radius X, and radius Y to 1. It will make the particles line thinner. Now open this particle option, and change the transfer mode to screen. Now, press Ctrl plus D, to make a duplicate of this layer. Here in the physics option, change gravity to 0.05. Also, change the velocity to 0.3. Again select this layer, and make another duplicate of it. Go to the first birth rate keyframe and change the birth rate to 1. Here I am changing the inherit velocity to 2. Here you can see some nice particles falling down from this tree. Perfect. This looks good to me. Let's make another duplicate of this layer. Open the particle option, and change the particle type to star. Before saying yuck, change the birth size to 0.04. And then change the death size to 0.00. Here we have some nice looking glitter around this tree. Perfect. Let's select this first Christmas tree layer once again and make a duplicate of it. Open this particle option, and here change the particle type to the faded sphere. Also, change the longevity to 1. And now it will look ugly. So change the death size to 0. As well as, change the birth size to 0 0.20. Perfect. This is the final product. Let's turn on the visibility of this background layer, and then minimize all the layers to get some room. Select all the Christmas tree layer, and change the mode of it. If you can't find your mode tab here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key is upset after watching the Justice League movie, and left the planet, to forget about the humanity, then right click here. Go to the columns, and select modes. Now change the mode to add, and it will look more beautiful. But my background is killing the beauty. So let's adjust the color of it. You are free to choose any color you want. I think I am going with this. It's time add some snowflakes to it. You can create your own snowflake using the shape tool. But just to save time. I am using PNG Snowflake. You can download it from the link in the description. Import this image into the project. And then place it onto the timeline. Let's click here to solo this particle layer, as well as the background layer. Now select this snowflake layer, and press R, to open rotation. Press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard, and click on the stopwatch icon to add an expression to it. In the expression area, type time, star, 100. And here it will start spinning. Now right click on it, and pre-compose it. We will call it snowflake. Make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition. 
else the effect won't work well. Now hide this layer by clicking on this eye icon. And then create another solid layer. Let's call it snowflake particles. And then hit OK. Go to the effects and the presets, and apply the CC particle world on it. This is also an inbuilt plugin of After Effects. Now open this particle. And change the particle type to the textured square. Open this texture, and here change the texture layer to snowflake. The same snowflake composition which we have just created. Here you can see it start emitting the snowflakes particles. Now change the birth size to 0 0.5. and change the death size to 0.1 again go to the effects and the presets and this time search for the fill effects apply it onto the same layer and now change the fill color to the white here you can see these nice snow particles now select the CC particle world grab this center point and place it on the top of the frame so the particles will start following from the top. Just like the real snowfall. Let's change the birth rate to 0.1. And longevity to 10. Also, change the size variation to 100%. Here we have nice looking snowfall. Let's unsolo these layer, to see our full composition. Perfect. Unselect the layers, to hide the grids and guides of the CC particle world. Cool. This looks good to me. Let's change the blending mode of the snowflake particle layer as well. And set it to the screen. You can always increase the birth size, to increase the amount of these snow particles. Ramp preview this, and see if you are happy with it. Everything looks perfect, except this snowflake particles. So select the layer. Open physics, and then change the velocity to 0.30. Also, I am changing the gravity to 0.1. So the speed will slow down. Now we are going to add our text. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click here, and start typing your text. You can download this font from the link in the description. I am placing this text below the Christmas tree. Let's make the text more attractive. Right click on it, go to layer style, and choose gradient overlay. Now expand this gradient overlay. And in the color option, click on the edit gradient. Here you will find this gradient window. Click on this color box, and change the color of it. I am going with the light yellow color. Now select this color box, and change its color too. I am using the color, to match my Christmas tree particles. Click here, and it will create another color box. Change its color as well, and then click here to add one more color box. As you can see I am using the different shades of color in my gradient. You can create as much as shades you want. Adjust the color, and then hit OK. Perfect. Now change the angle to this gradient. So the colors will pop out nicely. I am using the 146 degree angle. Perfect. Our text is ready. It's time to animate it. Go to the frame where you want your text to start appearing. And then go the effects and the presets. Here search for the slow fade on. You will find this preset under the text animate in. Double click on it to apply it onto the text layer. And here your text will start animating. Trim out the layer by pressing N. And then ram preview this to see if the animation working fine. Okay, my snow is still looking weird. It's time to fix it. Select the snowflake particle layer. And change the animation to twirl. Also, change the gravity to 0.01.
Here I am changing the birth rate to 0.2, perfect. RAM preview this. Our animation is complete, I will see you next week. Don't forget, you guys are my strength, and I love you more than After Effects. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.